So we're getting more information, but still not a ton about the assassination of Haitian President Moïse, uh, which happened not yesterday, but I believe in the dead of night leading up to, to, to yesterday, which has sh- sent shockwaves throughout the country, understandably so. And it's also particularly relevant when looking at U.S. empire because U.S. foreign policy with Haiti has been long. It's been bloody. It's been colored by fears of black liberation um, and, of course, U.S. imperialism and economic dominance. We've been interfering with with Haiti throughout its country's history. Um, and, of course, it's it's always about exerting U.S. hegemony and global dominance uh, at all costs, particularly for our economic interests, as I say. We had a journalist, Jeremy Scahill, on a few months ago or weeks ago. He dubbed Joe Biden the empire politician, um, and that's evident in this 1994 clip. Is that what year this is? 90s clip at the very least. Um, of Biden talking about Haiti within the context of U.S. interests. Uh, I think this is relevant just given how the U.S. is going to respond to this power vacuum in Haiti. And was there any United States involvement despite the the U.S. propping up Moïse for many years um, and uh, other members of the, the, the bourgeoisie? Uh, let's take a listen, though, to Biden some years ago talking about Haiti. Y'all went into Grenada for 40, 100, 70, not 500 medical students. And here there are thousands of blacks being persecuted, killed, death squads, and you're not doing anything. Clearly, Haiti is no more or less in the interest of the United States than Grenada. So what you have, for example, a leading editor uh, of, a, of a paper in the Delaware Valley um, wrote asked their reporters to come down and talk to me and said, why is Biden so concerned about Bosnia and not about Haiti? Is it because blacks are involved in Haiti? Blacks are what at stake in Haiti and in Bosnia, they are European whites. Um, There is that notion abroad in the Congress, in the country. It's not substantially different than when Lech Walesa came along and all the polls in the state of Delaware and the United States of America focused, or when Israel is in trouble and the American Jewish community and those who believe strongly in Israel focus, or you can list throughout our history circumstances where our, our uh, multi-ethnic community looks to things happening in a constituency that they are from, represent, or feel of having a stake in. So if Haiti, a god awful thing to say, if Haiti just quietly sunk into the Caribbean or rose up 300 feet, it wouldn't matter a whole but lot in terms of our interests. But the world and... Well, so that clip was circulating about Haiti falling into the sea and a lot of People who are supporters of Joe Biden said that it was taken out of context, but I'm not sure contextualizing it with how we view nations and helping them as purely an effort um, to exert U.S. hegemony. I'm not sure how much that makes a difference, Matt. I want to make sure, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, the idea that Israel and Bosnia are, we're only interested in those countries because like people on the ground here have organized on a, along ethnic lines to make us. No, those are, those have imperial significance for us. Um, and also like the idea that we've not been interested in what Haiti's been doing. We've not been interested in helping them. We've been interested in like say 1995 when the IMF was telling them to privatize major national industries. And um, when Bill Clinton was telling them to lower sugar and uh, rice um, tariffs so that the, those agriculture workers can go instead work in textile factories. Um, so uh, we do care about Haiti uh, just um, uh, as a place to exploit and beat down. Yes. And also, as you know, we talked about some sort of representative in the region um, that is going to prop up, say, U.S. foreign policy in Latin America, where uh, the United States was gleeful that Moise, who is, has now passed, was um, fully behind them in uh, propping up Guaido as the 
leader of Venezuela, which was not true. And you mentioned Bill Clinton there. I mean, Haiti and the relationship with Bill Clinton after his presidency, too, with the Clinton Foundation and the way that they tried to reimagine Haiti um, after the devastating earthquake that 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 really just ravaged the country. It was just so indicative of the neoliberal project remaking it um, in a way that was profitable to uh, the Clinton uh, orbit, um, which he did as president and he did after president. And then, you know, another point to make too about Moise and our relationship with Haiti is that it's, it's spans administrations. You had Obama, um, upholding Moise, who really was a, a member of industry. He made his money crookedly, um, with fruit exports, I believe. And then when Obama left, Trump upheld him as well. And Biden, uh, seemingly had we don't know of any u.s involvement in this but if he was assassinated with the united states involvement it was just because he became so problematic that the united states could no longer support him because he was becoming more of a liability for the neoliberal project than uh an asset anymore because there were so many protests against him yeah, ultimately, and if you could mute while I'm talking, um, yeah. ultimately, like, Biden mentions death squads in that um, in that old clip, right? And Moise has been using and directing death squads, and when you get involved in that sort of uh, business, uh, it sometimes doesn't end well um, <laughs> with those, when you make deals with those kind of folks. Um, I mean, I'm not, we're not sure exactly what happened, but I'm just saying, like, this has been a long-term problem, and America was supporting people who let that problem fester. Yeah, it's funny that Biden mentions death squads in that context as if the United States isn't instrumental um, to the propagation of death squads internationally. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.